Iron Chef America was adapted from a hit Japanese show that had a cult following long before the U.S. version ever hit the Food Network airwaves. But while the new version carried over many aspects of the original, Iron Chef America was still a phenomenon in its own right. Here are some things about the cooking competition series you might not know about. It's gonna be unbelievable. You've never seen this before. The Chairman's Stage History The host of Japan's Iron Chef was Takeshi Kaga. And even before dishing out ingredients, he had a history of working on screen. Before becoming the fancy dinner party host for the show, he was actually an actor who'd been seen in films and TV shows since the 80s. And while the chairman of Iron Chef America, Mark Dacascos, also hails from the thespian realm, he's not as well known for that profession as Kago was to Japanese audiences. Dacascos is actually an accomplished martial arts expert and actor, though, who's occasionally been spotted on TV's Hawaii Five-0. But for the most part, his other career was relatively unknown to U.S. audiences, as he starred in mostly overseas features before becoming the chairman. Iron Chef USA Iron Chef America wasn't the first time an American production company tried to remake the Japanese show. The original Iron Chef took itself seriously. It was about the food and the presentation. But Iron Chef USA didn't follow that formula quite so well. William Shatner played the chairman. And rather than having the chefs operate in the subdued atmosphere that was a signature of the original, Iron Chef USA was filmed in Las Vegas and sounded like there was a five-drink minimum to loosen up the crowd. Also, whereas Iron Chef featured actors who had a knowledge of food and provided key critiques of the dishes, the Iron Chef USA judges were people with some small claim to fame whose commentaries left something to be desired. It's really something that I've never tasted anything like it before. And uh, I think it's great. It doesn't really matter to me what's in it. It tastes good. Mercifully, Shatner's fluffy-shirted performance and incredibly bad line delivery only lasted two episodes. Premeditated Matchups Part of the mystique of Iron Chef is the majestic rise of the Iron Chefs themselves. After the pageantry, the Challenger Chef stands before the Iron Chefs and measures them up. While it looks like there are three Iron Chefs on hand to choose from, it's really all just theater. The Challenger Chef picks the Iron Chef weeks in advance of the taping. The only chef that rises up the day of the taping is the one who is being chosen. The other chefs are stand-ins that look similar to the Iron Chefs. For example, if the producers need a stand-in for Bobby Flay, they just find another tall redhead not doing anything that day. Those Iron Chefs are too busy to show up and not be picked, after all. Ingredients List Another aspect of Iron Chef America that's partially faked is that while it looks like the ingredient reveal is a massive surprise, Today's secret ingredient is... Spinach! Both chefs actually get hints about the secret ingredient well in advance of taping. Sometimes it's as blunt as producers telling the chefs that it's either buffalo or bass, at other times the chefs simply pick something together. In addition to the available spices and seasonings, the chefs are given a $500 budget to spend on any specialty ingredients they want for their dish. Then they'll write different grocery lists for each possible secret ingredient, and the producers go out and purchase what the chefs need. So when chefs show up at the taping, all they really have to do is look at the ingredients to figure out what the secret ingredient is going to be before the chairman lets the audiences know. Tinkering with Timing As much as the show's ticking clock adds to the drama factor of Iron Chef America, the strict timing parameters seen on screen aren't exactly accurate. Some actions will probably be repeated, like Iron Chef Morimoto and his competitor repeatedly reaching for an ingredient to get the timing and angle right. Before any cooking begins, the crew can spend up to an hour getting the required video of the Iron Chef, the Challenger, the Chairman, and Alton Brown. And once the cooking begins, the one-hour time limit seems to be more for television than anything else. There's no rushing around as seen on TV except specific hurried shots. Once the chef presents the dishes to the judges, the actual presentation can be shot up to three times to vary the angle. The judging can take up to 45 minutes. So what happens if you're batting second with your food sitting around for an extra hour? The sous chef, or sometimes even the producers, just recook a fresh hot meal. Sometimes the judges aren't even tasting something prepared by the actual chef competing. Man, this is wrong! This is so wrong! No cancellation In Japan, Iron Chef premiered in 1993 and ran until 1999. It was still quite popular at the time of its end. But traditionally in Japan, TV shows will end while still generating ratings, unlike in the US where we beat every horse dead. Iron Chef America, however, just sort of stopped showing up. That led most to conclude that Iron Chef America was cancelled. In 2014, Food Network flatly denied Iron Chef America was being cancelled, but there weren't any new episodes airing either. A few years later, we finally learned what was happening. A new Iron Chef program premiered on the Food Network called Iron Chef Gauntlet. Alton Brown served as the new chairman, but there was a twist. The show was just a limited series. Stephanie Izard won the six-episode competition, defeating the combined powers of three Iron Chefs to earn herself the title of Iron Chef. 
which doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot without a show to appear on, but hey, Iron Chef America is still not technically canceled, so at least there's that. Excellent. Thanks for watching. Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.